Hey you guys, it's me again. <laughs> hope everyone's doing okay. And uh, I hope everyone's fine. Hope things are going good for everybody. Um whatchamacallit. Uh hope everyone's doing okay and um I hope you're everyone's um Um, sort of like, uh, being okay with, with, um, sort of like what's going on in their own lives, sort of. Because I know, like, how difficult it can be to, like, sort of be okay with one's circumstances in life. Like, it can be really hard to just sort of, um accept the things that you can't change really or that you don't really have any control over in your life um it can be extremely difficult to you know let go or chill relax and just um be at peace with with nature and with yourself and with god um uh, believe it or not that can be one of the most like difficult things to do because um, I think the human tendency is to want to like control everything around you. You want to sort of bring everything under your influence and like you want to, um, you want everything to work out for you in the way that you think is best. And you want to sort of control other people's behavior. Like they, you want everybody to treat you well and to, be respectful and to just sort of at least leave you alone and not bother you. I, I kind of realized though that that's not possible, like none of what I just mentioned is, none of what I listed is remotely possible actually for an individual to do because um, it's not within her control in the slightest actually to be honest. The only real thing you can really control in life is yourself. Even that can be difficult too, but like, yourself, your emotions, your actions, your behavior. That's the only thing you have like, control over really, any type of real 100% control over. And even that is not 100%, honestly. I'd say it's only like 70%, because like a lot of yourself, like, your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts are not fully within your control, I feel. Um, it's just like what you happen to, what happens to like pop into your head or something. And so, um, I feel like your behaviors, even in your actions, like your deliberate actions, are probably like the closest control that you have in your life. Other than that, I've learned like from my own, in my own sort of, um, thing, I kind of noticed like I can't control other people and I can't control situations. I can't even control like what happens or anything, so... I just try to let it go. Um, and I try to um, be peaceful and content and happy despite anything bad that might be happening. I mean, it's funny because um, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, you would think that, like, um, I'll call it like um a lot of times you would think that um you try to tell yourself that like I don't really mind what happens or anything but a lot of times like you do sort of care at the end of it like or like you kind of tell yourself that um you know like um you know let's say there's some stuff that's really bothering you in life bothering you you know stuff that you feel especially the things that you feel are like extremely unfair or like you think people somehow are getting like a bad Im bad impression of you even though that's not who you really are like you know yourself better than other people know you and so a lot of times there were times when I felt like people were sort of um judging me prejudging me before they even talked to me sort of or before they ever even said a word to me or I said a word to them sometimes people just sort of are um like they have like 
ideas about other people, but they don't know who they are even. So, like they like literally never, never came across them in their life. So, come across each other. So I think um, that was one thing that was really bothersome for me. Like, I kept on like getting the feeling that like, um, you know, whether it was just like random strangers on the street or like even extended family members that I just haven't really interacted with in a long time. And, like, everybody in between, sort of, like, I used to feel that people would sort of, um, um, think badly about me before they even knew me, before they even met me before, so that was one thing that was very frustrating, like, I, I you know, because it's hurtful, you know, like, you don't want to be talked badly about or put down and stuff before you even get to know the person, right? Like, you don't... Nobody likes that. Nobody would want to be bullied like that, actually. And it is bullying. It's a form of bullying. I, I used to feel that, like, people... Certain people were, like, um... Talking about me in a weird way. Like, they were... Like, when I'd be in a circle of people or whatever, I used to feel that, um... I was sort of being mistreated or that people would sort of not, like, purposely not include me in the discussion of, you know, whether this was at school or at the mosque I used to go to. I used to, like, attend a, <coughs> like, my local mosque here in Sterling, but, um, I stopped going to that. I stopped going because I, I couldn't do it anymore. And I'm glad I finished school for the most part, like, high school and college and stuff like I don't have to attend like classes anymore the whole thing was a nightmare y'all like it's not for people like me you know it's not for quiet people it's not for introverts and people who are withdrawn reserved and who just sort of are chill completely chill like they don't they don't feel it's their place to really um to interact in that way and to really get up on people's grill like they're like I don't I don't even talk to anybody in my life to be honest with you so so high school was a disaster needless to say college was an even bigger disaster and my mosque sort of like communal communal activities were also a disaster all of the sort of interpersonal relationships that I tried to do just ended up in flames like in smoke complete and total mess and a nightmare and a disaster for that reason, I don't really have any friends or anything. <laughs> and I have a few, like, cousins in Sudan who I talk to. But I don't really have, like, friends or anything, but, um... It's okay, right? I mean, I tried. I really tried. I tried to, like, make friends in the past, but it just didn't go well at all. Um, for a lot of people, I notice it doesn't go well because, like, they're... You know, they're introverts, and they don't like to really, um... Um, sort of interact in that way, like, they don't really, they're not good with small talk and stuff, and, um, chit-chat, and, like, they don't really like to talk to strangers that much sometimes, and so it's hard for them, it really is, like, scientifically proven that it's hard for them to make friends right away, and that could be frustrating, but, um, yeah, I sort of kind of, like, um, um, I kind of, like, stopped hoping that I'd make friends because I just sort of realized that it might happen, it might not, but, um, I don't know. This is another thing I don't have any control over, right? Nobody has any real control over it, like, whether it happens or not. Even friends, right? Like, some people are scared that they're never going to get married or whatever. I'm, I'm scared that I'm never going to, like, make, like, real friends that I'm really tight with and close with. Everybody's got different types of problems. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I just wanted to say that, like, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, like, but especially, like, if you feel that, you know, people are being mean to you and, like, you know, people are deliberately sort of almost, almost, like, purposely, um, um, dissing you or insulting you or being rude or being inconsiderate and nasty to you, 
don't give them a damn. Like, <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I don't even know anybody in my life, so why, why should I care what, like, random people think about me, you know? Random people, literally, because they're not, we're not friends or whatever. Like, I don't even know them. I don't know them, so, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't know them, so, I, I don't know. It's difficult, though. I mean, it's hard. It's easy to just be like, don't give a damn, and just walk away, move on with your life, don't think about it, but it does hurt. I assume it hurts inside, but, um, oh, look at him, you know, God is merciful. You know, God is merciful at the end of the day. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm not the best person to talk to regarding advice about people because I don't have any friends or anything, but, yeah, that's the best I could, could come up with today, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm praying for everybody, though. Uh, it could be really hard sometimes, yeah. yeah. It's not easy, but it's okay, though. Yeah. I like to listen to music and read poetry. That's what. That's still the only two things that really help, especially especially the poetry thing. I like uh, Rumi and I like um, Hafiz, Hafiz, and stuff. I like those sort of like classical ancient poetry that like touches your soul and like it speaks to everybody. We're all included. Nobody's excluded from that. I've been excluded too many times in my life actually to count. It's okay. Well, it's difficult, though. It is. It's hard. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, what to do, right? It's okay. It's 12 minutes. I should just go. Oh, who cares? Peace, you guys. Have a good one. Hi. Uh -huh.